We are with Hank and Connor. Connor is meditating as usual. Hank is warm? Okay. When did that happen? <laughs> Who is he calling? Wife? Daughter? Son? I don't think he is a son type of guy. He might have a daughter. If they have already shown it and I don't remember, I'm sorry. Let's see what it is. Yellow Hank. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. What is Kamsky? Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first and Sorry. Droid to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about deviance, it's him. Founder of Cyberlife, so we are going to see the founder of Cyberlife. Nice. Let's see the perspective of what they thought Cyberlife would be, or DV or Androids would be. Oh. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please come in. Okay. It's Chloe. Damn. She looks so different in person. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Also a lot more beautiful. <laughs> I know, I know, I should stop simping over every girl I see in video games. But what can I say? She is beautiful. What is this? Sit down? Nope. He looks nice like girl. RDJ. Uh, 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 analytical. An RT-600. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the first Cyberlife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't ask for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. I'm a robot, I don't understand that. What is this? Kamsky or Kamsky? How would you say that? Nice place. Of course. Those androids haven't been a. Sorry. Amanda. Oh, that's Amanda. Okay, AI professor at University of Colbridge. Died. What? She's dead? Bad thing for everybody. Who am I talking to then? You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? I don't know actually. Space tourism on the rise. Have they not yet reached space? Hmm. Oh. All right. So they have, uh, technically. <laughs> Fortune teller, damn. Nice. So AI is doing everything then. Uh, what are you saying? Indifferent. It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. As in your father? Let's sit down. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Hmm. Like what? Uh. Are we just sitting here? 
What are we doing? <laughs> oh, there, yeah, there's some, there's someone. Oh, there she is. Glad you will see you now. She's cool. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. Oh, there are more! What? They're all Chloe's. Why is she walking so weird? I walk a lot much more better than she does. Kamsky, come on, get out of the blood pool. Can I go after? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I did not mean to. I'm not following you. So I would love to. Oh, he's so young. It's so weird. <laughs> you people wonder if you can have one Chloe and he has three. <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Hmm. Oh, let's we need go to help. understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Oh! Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? <sighs> It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? 
decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Oh. Oh, fun. This is okay. What should I do? What should I do? If I shoot, I'm pretty sure Hank is not gonna like it. If I don't shoot, I'm not actually uh, doing my mission. Oh, you know what? I will shoot, I guess. <laughs> Oh my god, why is this so difficult? And it's Chloe, man. There are two more we can see and still it doesn't feel right. Chloe has just started to talk to us. What if... Oh my god. This is where it did, it's confirmed, right? If Connor is a deviant or not. You know what? I will shoot. I don't care how the game ends. Oh, I don't want to. What the fuck should I do? Ah! Uh, oh my god. Oh! I need time, man. <laughs> how much... How much can I wait? Damn it's why is this so difficult? I want Connor to be an android. I don't want Connor to change into a deviant. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck! Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm a man of my word. Ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to know who RA9 is. RA9. The origin. The first android to awaken. Oh. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves, even if it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. War is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. What does that mean? Oh, and I have Shut to. Shut that <sighs> fuck's sake! It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out. I did what I had to do to advance the investigation, and I'd do it again if I had. To. You're a low life. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... Oh my god. Oh. Fuck. Crazy. 
Damn. Oh, you're leaving me? Okay. I think I'll walk back then. That is a bad thing I did, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. What is the chapter name? Kamsky. Oof. Ooh. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. All right. If there is any drastic change in the story, I will play this mission again. Meet Kamsky. Okay, fuck it. Let's continue. <laughs> I'm sorry if anybody dislikes that decision I made, but I had to see what it does. And also, like I promised, I will keep Connor as Android as possible. Okay. Let's see what we have here with Marcus. Oh, what is this? A mirror? What is that for? Good reflection, though. That is cool. There's something there. A book. Detroit today. Android riot. That's something we did. Or is it something else? Okay. So is it... Are they doing it against Marcus's will? Space race, Russia, China, androids. Okay, androids are being sent to space too. That would be a really good application of androids, wouldn't it? And there is some music to play. What's that, Florida? Florida man. Marcus can definitely be a Florida man. Okay, let's play some music. Again, this is for you guys. Thank you, thank you. I know I butchered it, but yeah, that's what I got. Jump! There she is, crazy android. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. Nobody asked. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. 
They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, really? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. Then why did you ask mine? It was nothing. A doll in a distributor programmed to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. For dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club, the, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Which direction are you going to? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. It was a good moment. Who is this guy? Simon? So he's back. He made it. Hello, Simon. How's life? Cyber life. Oh, I'm glad that I did not kill him. What if he is... Uh, what, what do you call them? Snitch. Or whatever. I don't know. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. So they took out their rings now? There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Okay. Find androids. Yellow Android, can I convert you? Dude. You're free. You're free. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, what? What did you just say? I'm free? What does that mean? You're free. Somebody said it's too expensive. 
<laughs> Let me put a uh, put my hand over his shoulder and say, "You're free," and he'd be like, "I know that already." Now oh, let's steal that woman's android. Come with us. <laughs> Stolen. Anyone? Are you an android, bro? You're an android. You're awake now. He yawns instinctively. All right. Cool. Let's get these androids. You're free now. Also bring the bag you're carrying with you. Where do you think you're going? You get back here. Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. I have paid for him. I need to block the street. Say no more. Ooh, nice drift. Come, bro. We gotta leave. You are free. Two more. You don't have to obey them. Civil disobedience. You're free. Can I reach them? Where's the manhole? You're free. You're free. You're free. Any more free? <laughs> okay. Convert more androids? Which ones? Oh, it's Kara! Hey, oh! Do I have Wi Fi now? You're free now. Damn! I don't need to touch anyone anymore. We have got Kara with us. March, April, May. Come on, everyone, join us. I'm God. Can I not convert the drones? They're kind of androids too, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> he turned back for a while. You're free. You're free. You're free, screen. You can display whatever you want. Peace. Wait, where are you going? Jesus, the fucking android's playing up again. Android's going crazy. You're free. You are free. Everyone is free. Okay, it's okay if I die. Jesus. 
Jesus fucking Christ. Dispatch, this is Patrol 457. Uh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're we marching. are alive. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Set us free! Set us free! Set us free! Set us free! Come no more slavery! No more slavery! No more slavery! No more slavery! Freedom! 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 Equal rights! Equal rights! Equal rights! War goes down now. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. And dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. You know what? I'll stand my we ground. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. It's okay if we die. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Nope. We're not moving. Doing. They're gonna kill us all! It's okay. Damn! He jumped in to save me. Quick. I was in Marcus. They're coming. Oh. I'm happy with that decision, actually. That was actually super cool. I like what happened. I really do. It's so nice. Uh, I'm curious now what happens next. See, they are constantly jumping in between Connor and Marcus now. Where is Amanda? Amanda is probably in just in our brains, as in Connor's brain. Where is she? There she is. Oh, the lake is frozen. 
and snowing everywhere. Oh, is this a representation of my brain, as in Connor's brain? Are you happy, Amanda? Finally, I shot Chloe for you. Okay. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Oh, what was the first choice? I didn't learn anything at Kamsky's. I thought RA9 was the key to the whole thing, but I was wrong. <sighs> I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. Oh. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Did Kemsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? I just shot Chloe. For Lieutenant Anderson? No. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. Okay. No, of course not. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. What? Is this a normal outcome or did I mess things up? Damn, I always do this in games. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> They're not people, Lieutenant. They're defective machines. They're not people. That's what we say every time we want to oppress someone. Oh. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Maybe these deviants deserve a chance. Maybe it's better if you don't find them. What's happening here is too important to let it be stopped by a machine. 
Sorry, Connor. But I'm not gonna help you. Oh my god, I messed it up, didn't I? What am I supposed to do? Desk. Okay. Where is our archive room? There it is. Okay. How is this a good android? Hey, Connor. Actions. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any cut. The hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. I don't have time for you, dumbass. Hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose. Date of birth, one, three, four, fucking password. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I know Hank enough. Where is Jericho? Answer's here somewhere. Not much time. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Three nine eight three V. Okay. What about you? A deviant who took a child hostage. Oh, that's Daniel. Oh, it has three nine three. Nice. Now what? It's dark. Where? Where am I? I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Oh, that was a wrong decision. Oof. Recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, 
we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Okay, nice. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Okay. I think I can just go with that, right? Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be alright now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. You've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! All right. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. I'll kill him. I will kill him. Oh, I'm messing it up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Even if I messed it up, he's weak. What happened here? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm. Now! Ah. Uh. I don't know what I'm doing, man. <laughs>